Hi viewers, welcome to another tutorial on this channel. Today we are interested in 2023 additional mathematics ECZ examination for school certificate ordinary level. And the question that we are interested in is question number 4. Number 4 is under the topic of functions. So we have question number 4. The question has The question has two parts. It has part A and part B, and both of the parts are carrying three marks. So both of the questions are carrying three marks. Let's now try to go through the question. We have part A and part B. So let's go. Uh, let's go through the question. So it says the functions f and h are defined by f of x a x plus 6 over x x is not equal to 0 and h of x is equal to x plus 1 over x minus 3 x is not equal to 3 and then it says find we have part a which says h squared of x and then b the value of a for which f of H, uh, f h of 3 is equal to 6 so that is the whole question that is the whole question and as we get into the solving i hope you haven't forgotten to subscribe to this youtube channel and i hope you haven't forgotten to like and as you are subscribing don't forget to turn on the notification button so that you are updated when each and every video tutorial is uploaded on this youtube channel so don't forget to turn on the notification button as you're subscribing and don't forget to comment so that your views can be heard and don't forget to share so that others can also enjoy the tutorials of additional mathematics so let's try to get into the solving let's try to get into the solving so we're now getting into the solving. So we are starting with part A. We're starting with part A. So that is the statement above. And then we're starting with part A, which says h squared of A, uh, h squared of x, like that. So we're given that h of x is equal to x plus 1 over x minus 3. So that is h of x. So now what we have to keep in mind is that don't make a mistake whereby you square h. Don't make a mistake whereby you square h, uh, the function of h. So don't ever make a mistake because you get uh, wrong answers. So wrong answers can be found when you square h. So uh, we have to keep in mind that h squared of x is equivalent to h h of x like that. So that is how it should be. Don't try to square it. Don't try to square it. So it will be like that. So now when we know this statement when we have this idea what should we do next so what we should do next is that we have to replace where there is x with that function of h so the function of h is x plus 1 over x minus 3 so we have to replace where there is x with that function so it will be like that so we are replacing x with x plus 1 over x minus 3 like that Again, we do the same there. We do the same again. So that's how it should be like that. So what we have to do now is to simplify. We're remaining with the simplification. How do we simplify? So we have to work on each uh, part of the fraction individually. So we are starting with the numerator. So we're starting with the numerator so we're starting with the numerator and then 
we have changed that over sign to division and then it will be like that it will be like that so when you know how to do it uh, so if you know how to deal with fractions then that's nice so you have to deal with fractions individually so we're starting with part yeah, we're starting with the first part with those which are in brackets it will be like that so you have to know how to deal with fractions this is how it should be like that so it will be like that so even in those brackets we're going to deal with fractions So this is how you deal with fractions. So in case you don't know how to deal with fractions, you have to, uh, in the first brackets we had to divide, we had to find the common denominator, and then we had to divide x minus three with x minus three again. So when we divide, it will give us the value of one. We have to multiply. 1 with those which are up it will be x1 open brackets x plus 1 again we also divide 1 with um, those which are down which are open brackets x minus 3 close brackets open brackets 1 close brackets so when we divide we are going to remain with x minus 3 so x minus 3 we have we have to multiply x minus 3 with 1 so that is how it should be again you do the same on the right on those which are on the right now let's try to do the simplification so 1 multiplied by x it is x and then 1 multiplied by 1 it is 1 and then 1 multiplied by x it is x and then 1 by negative 3 it is negative 3 so it would be like that so that's how you deal with the first part and then multiplication uh, the division will change to multiplication and what you should keep in mind is that when it changes to multiplication if it is a fraction you have to swap the denominator and the numerator so the denominator becomes the numerator and then the numerator becomes the denominator so you have to swap those two so it will be like that when you swap them and then when you do the calculations there 1 plus a uh, 1 by x it is x and then 1 by 1 it is 1 and then negative 3 by x it is 3x and then negative 3 by a negative 3 it is 9 like that so this is how it should be like that so and then you should keep in mind that x minus 3 will cancel out like that and then at the top when you do the calculations x plus x it is 2x and then and then 1 minus 3 it is negative 2 and then down x minus 3x it is negative 2x and then 1 plus 9 it is 10 like that so therefore that is the given statement that uh, they wanted so that is the expression which was wanted so it is h squared is equal to uh, h squared of x is equal to 2x minus 2 over negative 2x plus 10 so that is the given statement so that is what it equals so h squared of so now let's now go to b so b says the value of a for which a uh, f h of 3 is equal to 6 so that's how it should be like that so we have the important points which are which are f 
of x is equal to ax plus 6 over x and then h of x is equal to x plus 1 over x minus 3 like that and then fh of 3 is equal to 6 so that those are important points those are the important points that are needed so we are given that fh of 3 is equal to 6 so what we have to do is that we have to replace x so we have to replace uh, where there is x with uh, that function so in the f function we have to replace with that one which the h function equals so h of x is equal to x plus 1 over x minus 3 so we have to replace where there is x in f of x with x plus 1 over x minus 3 like that so we are replacing so we are replacing x with x plus 1 over x minus 3 like uh, that plus 6 again we do the same down down there we do the same so we have to do something like that when you do the calculations so when you multiply a multiplied by x plus 1 over x minus 3 it will give us x uh, x plus a over x minus 3 plus 6 and then that is uh, the first those are the first uh, things in brackets so that over sign we are going to replace it with division as we did on the first part it will be like that again we find the common denominator so we do it something like that again so this is how it should be it will be like that again the division sign will change to multiplication and then the denominator and the numerator swap and then x minus 3 will cancel out and then you have to keep in mind that uh, those uh, things equals to 6 so we're given the statement that f h of 3 is equal to 6 that is the given statement that's what you should keep in mind so now let's try to do the calculations again let's try to simplify let's try to simplify when we simplify it will be like that and then we're given that uh, it should be the x should be replaced with 3 so we're going to replace x with 3 so x is equal to 3 so it will be like that when we replace it minus 18 like that so we have replaced x with uh, 3 and that equals to 6 so let's now try to simplify so when you simplify again when you simplify it will give us 4a over 4 is equal to 6 and then what you should keep in mind is that so what you, what you should keep in mind is that the 4 can cancel out like that and then we are going to remain with a so therefore a is equal